What is going on Cardano community? Welcome back to the official DAP Central YouTube channel. I'm your host here, Fareed, and as a part of today's brief update, I wanna to talk to you guys about the fact that personalization features are coming to the ADA handle standard. Now, if you guys are not familiar with the ADA handles, they're going to be an NFT powered wallet naming solution being built on Cardano, and they simplify the process of sending to and receiving Cardano transactions. Now, as a part of this video, I wanna highlight the fact that the ADA handle team has officially announced that they will be rolling out features for their ADA handle customization and their ADA handle um, dashboard. And so without taking up any more time, if it's your guys' first time stopping by the channel here, I aim to provide you guys in the community with the latest news, tutorials, and reviews. As you guys can see, I'm not shooting from my normal location today, but I'm doing my best to bring you guys the updates throughout this entire time. If you guys wanna support me on my mission to educate the broader Cardano community, then consider delegating with the official DAP Central stake pool, which is stake pool ticker DAPP. That said, let's go ahead and jump straight into today's article. Again, basically breaking down the new features being introduced by the ADA handle team. So let me quickly jump over here. And as I mentioned, this team is going to be bringing personalization features to the Cardano network. Now this has been a feature or a feature set that has been waited upon for quite a bit of time. And so without uh, taking up too much time here, I'm gonna break down this article. As you guys can see, I've got some of these sections highlighted, but as always, I will leave the link to this entire article down in the description below. So it starts out by saying here, up until now, ADA handles have played a very significant role in facilitating the transfer of assets on Cardano in a human friendly way. And this is what I mentioned earlier. If you hold an ADA handle, which is a human readable name or human readable um, piece of text, all you need to do is hold that in your wallet and anybody looking to send a transaction over to you can actually plug in that ADA handle. Now, we've already seen the fact that the ADA handle team has been integrated into some of the top DEXs as well as some of the top DAPs on Cardano. In terms of DEXs, they are integrated right now into the MinSwap DEX. And then in terms of DAPs or DeFi, they're currently integrated into the Liquid Finance Protocol. Now, I believe that they've got more than 25 um, additional um, teams or projects that they will be integrating into. So keep an eye out for them. But generally speaking, I do want to say that a lot of the community is already aware. Um, and if you guys don't already own an, an ADA handle, I have a fully dedicated video breaking that down as well, which I'll leave down in the description below. So I don't want to harp too much here as to how they actually work, as I think the majority of the people watching this video already kind of understand that. Jumping back into the article, it states here, the concept was simple and the functionality seamless. Now it's all about extending that functionality and improving the standard. Personalization is going to be the beginning of that imperative. So the first major upgrade coming here is going to be what they call the handle designer. As you guys can see here, we're gonna have our very own handle designer. At the top here, we've got our own dashboard page. Right below that, we've got this designer tab here where we can customize the text associated with the ADA handle name, the profile picture, the background, the QR code, and it looks like we'll also even be able to tie in our social media um, links, for example, Twitter, maybe Discord, directly into the NFT itself. We've got a pretty cool preview here of some of the NFTs that we can actually use as your profile picture, as well as your background. So I'm gonna break this down here, but there's gonna be two bits of pieces um, that are gonna be customizable. The first is gonna be the PFP or the profile picture, and then the second is going to be the background of the actual ADA handle. Jumping back into the article, the handle designer represents ADA handles first step into identity on the blockchain. Now, what they're going to be referring to here are going to be DIDs or digital identities. And so what this means is, is that you'll be able to actually take your ADA handle and actually use that to verify your identity across a bunch of different blockchain apps. Within the designer, you can begin to customize more intricately who you are. Every interaction and change is secured entirely on the Cardano network where you are secured entirely on the actual blockchain. At launch, we'll have the available features, which include the following. Number one is going to be profile pictures. Number two, handle backgrounds. Number three, a handle name. Number four, social media. And then number five, the ability to add a QR code. Now, how will, that, how will the actual background process or the actual PFP process work? So it states the nature of a permissionless and immutable ledger instructs us to build safeguards into the platform that allows a user to customize data and submit that data as a transaction on chain. 
So any changes that you make to your ADA handle, whether it's to your PFP, to your background, will be captured as transactions and actually reviewable on the actual network. This is why we're allowing verified NFT projects to participate in profile pictures and backgrounds for now. So what this is basically saying is that not every single profile picture NFT or PFP NFT will be able to be used initially on the first uh, dashboard platform, neither will any of the backgrounds. So they're gonna be working with a specific subset of NFT collections and NFT background providers in order to basically roll this out first. So it continues to state, once a handle owner connects their wallet, they'll be able to choose from a collection of their own NFT profile pictures if they own and hold them in the same wallet as their handle. So there's gonna be two stipulations there. Number one, you're gonna to have to actually own the NFT, right? So you're gonna to have to have purchased it from um, secondary or maybe minted it originally when the mint occurred. And then number two, it's gonna to have to reside in the same exact wallet as your ADA handle is currently sitting in. Now, if they own any of the verified NFT profile pictures in their wallet, they'll be able to attach it onto their ADA handle. Moreover, any dApp across Cardano can then pull that information and display that profile picture on their UI using the same method that they're able to do so to display your ADA handle name. So again, on platforms like Liquid, maybe Wing Riders, or even MinSwap, you'll now be able to actually see that customized ADA handle once you've customized it using the ADA handle designer dashboard. Now, in terms of NFT projects that are actually verified or that you'll be able to use as a part of this process, for the launch of the personalization features, we've chosen three verified NFT projects to flagship this new offering. We will reveal them to you soon. We have the next batch of three in waiting to begin their onboarding process. After the second batch of the verified NFT projects has been onboarded, we'll be, we'll be beginning, excuse me, the process of polling the community on which projects should be onboarded next. So again, they're gonna be launching this with a specific subset of NFT profile pictures and a specific subset of NFT um, profile backgrounds. Once that's done, they'll be asking the community as to which additional projects they wanna onboard into this platform. Now, the second update here is gonna be surrounding what they call the ADA handle portal. So it states here, personalization will bring in an entire revamp of the UI and UX of the handle.me website. The new website will have your own personal dashboard, but also a public display. As an example, if you navigate to the handle portal and you actually own the ADA handle um, for which you're going to view as a part of the portal, you'll have the ability to kind of um, edit and customize how that page is displayed. Whereas if anybody else accesses that page and they don't actually hold that wallet or that ADA handle, I should say, they'll actually be able to view your profile on the actual dashboard itself. Again, they provide us with a brief screenshot here of what the um, portal designer looks like, which to me looks like a really cool feature. Again, the ADA handle team has been doing an amazing job of actually building out during this entire bear market. Now, I did have the pleasure of speaking with Goose, who's gonna be one of the members of the ADA handle team at the Rare Bloom event, which took place in Denver, Colorado of Q4 of last year. So if you guys wanna figure out exactly what this team has in store for this upcoming year, then I definitely recommend that you guys go ahead and check out that video as well. Now, in terms of the future for personalization, and we are gonna be closing down this video here, it states that they are gonna be working on the following features moving forward. Number one, encrypted data sets for user controlled information sharing. Number two, did compatibility or digital identity compatibility. And then very lastly, domain. So you'll be able to actually navigate to a particular um, website using your ADA handle. And again, that will be able to display anything specific to what you have brought up um, for that particular handle. In closing here, it is important to know that personalization is the backbone for important data sharing on chain, but until blockchain rules and regulation on data sharing and palpability of self-sovereign identity as a service is more mature, we are focusing on the customization aspects of identity on the blockchain. That is gonna do it for today's video. Again, breaking down this new feature that will be coming onto Cardano. If you guys hold an edit handle, let me know what you guys think of this upcoming feature. I'm excited to get this new feature rolled out. And as soon as this dashboard in the panel is rolled out, you guys can definitely bet that I'll have a specific video walking you guys through that entire process. But I know that there have been comments on my prior videos asking how to actually customize their ADA handle. So this feature is on the way. Definitely be patient and again, keep up to date here with the ADA handle team by making sure to not only follow them on Twitter, but also follow them on Medium. 
that is going to bring me to a close again here for today's video. I appreciate you guys tuning in here. This was a brief video, but I'm doing what I can here to kind of keep you guys educated on the go. If you guys found this update to be helpful or insightful in any way, shape or form, I would really appreciate it if you guys could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the Dab Central YouTube channel and you appreciate Cardano content like this, then consider subscribing. And if you guys have any questions for me about the ADA handle standard or about Cardano in general, then make sure to leave a comment down below. That said, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.